Okay, so looking at question 12 over there, okay, we're dealing with our probability question. So they say we have A and B are independent events. Uh, it is given that the probability of A and B is 0 0.3 and the probability of only B is 0 0.2. Uh, then they ask, are A and B mutually exclusive? Uh, motivate your answer. So if you look, uh, A and B uh, equals 0 0.3. So therefore they're not mutually exclusive. Why? Because the probability of A and B does not equal to zero. Okay, now the next one asks 12.1 point two uh, number a sorry lost my place there um probability of only a okay so be careful now because you get the probability of a and then you get the probability of only a okay so we know from our formula probability of a and b is probability of a multiplied by probability of b so we have probability of a and b so that's 0 0.3 equals the probability of a but what is the probability of b okay Note that this is only B, so we can't put that here. Well, we know that the probability of B can come from uh, if only B happens, or, okay, important, or if A and B happens. Okay, so or means plus, so therefore that's going to be multiplied by 0 0.3 plus 0 0.5. Why? Because it can happen here, or it can happen there. Okay, and then... Uh, if we just sort out that multiplication, technically we have 0 0.3 uh, divided by uh, 0 0.5, which is dividing by a half, so you're technically multiplying. So the probability of A happening equals 0 0.6. But now remember, probability of A only is what we're looking for. Okay, So A only uh, can happen... Okay, so A can happen from only A or a and b so or means plus so therefore if we want p only so the probability of only a we've got to take the probability of a happening 0 0.6 and minus the probability of a and b happening to 0 0.3 which then gives you an answer of 0 0.3 for only a okay so be careful with that then 12.1.2 says the probability of not a or not b okay so not a or not b means uh, adding okay or subtracting so let's see if the probability of a or b to happen okay so if we look at this way so the total probability of uh, a or b okay must equal to one the total probability of this happening okay uh, so now, if we have not A happening and not B happening, okay, and we have the probability of A and B happening, okay, uh, then we can use the following, okay. So we can then use the probability of not A or not B is going to equal to 1 minus, so the total probability, minus the probability of A and B happening uh, and B okay so not A or not B happening at all is equal to the probability the total probability sorry this should be total probability so P total okay uh, minus the probability of A and B happening together okay which is then just going to give you 1 minus 0 0.3 Okay, which is then going to give you a probability of 0 0.7 that A or uh, not A or not B is going to happen. Okay, so let's have a look at 12.2. So it says the teacher has five different uh, poetry books, four different drama books, and three different novels. Uh, she must arrange 12 books from left to right on a shelf. Write down, okay, so then 12.2.1 says write down the probability that a novel uh, will be the first book placed on the shelf okay so i like to do these by drawing out the situation okay so i've got 12 spots uh i've given a list of everything over here so uh, poetry books drama books and novels okay so there's a total of 12 spots there's a total of three novels okay so therefore the probability of the first one being a novel so one being a novel is then going to be the total number of novels three divided by the total number of spaces, which is 12, 
which then simplifies to 1 over 4. Okay, then 12.2.2, okay, so 12.2.2 says calculate the number of different ways 12 books can be placed on a shelf if any book can be placed in any position. Okay, that means I can start with poetry and end with poetry. I can start with a novel and have all three novels next to each other first. Okay, so now we've got to look at all the possible outcomes. Okay, so how many spots are there? There's 12 spots. How many books are there? There's 12 books. So if I had to fill this in, it would be um, 12, then we'd have 11 books, then we'd have 10 books, and then 9 books, and so on. And if I continue all the way down, I'm just going to get 12 factorial. Okay, which then equals to uh, 4, 7, 9, 0, 0, 1, 6, 0, 0. Okay, so let's see, that's 100, 100,000, million, 10 million, 479 million options that you can get there. Okay, now 12.2.3, uh, okay, says calculate the probability that a poetry book is placed in the first position, uh, the three novels are placed next to each other, uh, and the drama is placed in the last position. Aha. Okay, so let me just quickly draw out all these lines again. So 12.2.3, we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so what do we need to start with? We need to start with a poetry book. Okay, so how many possibilities are there for poetry books? There's five possibilities to be in the first position. Then what do we have to do? Okay, so it then says the three novels are placed next to each other. Okay, so we need three novels next to each other. So let's say I put all three of those novels over here. So then it's going to be three, then there's two novels left, and then one. Okay, so, so far we have five, and then we have three factorial on the novels. Okay, then each of the dramas is placed in... Okay, next to each other, sorry, and then the drama is placed in the last position. So, how many dramas are there? There's a total of four dramas, and that's got to go in the last position. Okay, so let's have a look here. We filled one position there, so there's a total of 12 books. So, the first position takes one, so then minus one. Then, all three have to be next to each other over here. So, that's one, two, three possibilities that we're taking out. So minus three possibilities there. Okay. And then one has to go at the end. So minus one. So how many are we left with? So 12, 11, 10. So seven possibilities left over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven over there. Okay. So the arrangement of the rest of the books. Um, okay. Even though we've placed one there and we've placed one there and we have to have three next to each other. Okay. It's going to be all of those. So there is seven positions left. Okay. Uh, and if we look at how we're going to work out this probability. Okay. Um, remember, if this one here is, which one do we say this? A novel over here. Okay. Technically, we're going to have a total of eight factorial left. If we have this one, this one, because why what happens here? This one, these three can go here. So one, one. Okay then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, then 6, then 7, then 8. Okay, so those can be plate, placed in 8 different places as well. So that becomes 8 factorial. Um, and then everything else gets arranged accordingly around that. So how many positions are actually left for the total books? That's 8 factorial. Okay, so just to explain that again. Because all of 3 of these books have to be next to each other, the first and the last spots taken... It's these three can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 positions. That's where I get this 8 factorial from. So now we just got to add everything or multiply everything up. Sorry about that. Multiply everything together um, and then divide it by the total number. So the probability of this outcome, okay, so uh, for the way that they want it over there, is then going to be 5. Five possibilities multiplied by three factorial because all three of those have to be together then how many possible arrangements are left regarding all of that that's eight factorial and then the last one has to be uh, 
a drama book, so multiply that by 4, and then divide that by the total, which is 12 factorial. Okay, and if you plug that into your calculator, you'll get a probability of 1 over 99. Okay, and that's how we go about doing this question. Okay, if you're finding the content helpful, then please leave a thumbs up on the video. It does help me out quite a lot. Uh, if you are enjoying the content as well, then please consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions regarding uh, this question, then please leave it down in the comment section below. I'll get back to it as soon as I can. And remember, it's never too late to have an OIC moment.